gigantism in mammals is interesting because it happens in some lineages but not in others. For example, the modern sperm whale is called also the giant sperm whale, but there's the pygmy sperm whale as well, which is only five or six feet long. Did it become large because it ate a lot of squid? Perhaps. It specializes on squid, high nutrient value, and it can tackle the large animals. But not all sperm whales have been large. At about 25 million years ago, the kinds of whales that we saw in the ocean are different than we see today. What we call dolphins and porpoises did not exist, and it appears that sperm whales were an early radiation of tooth-bearing whales that ate other things, in other words, were marine carnivores. And sperm whales were part of that, and the modern sperm whale is just a vestige of a past diversity that is now extinct. The animal Brigma physeter, which was discovered in Japan, is older than Leviathan is. However, it's, it's smaller. It has um, a full set of teeth. It's got 11 or 12 teeth on each side of each jaw. It's about twice what uh, Leviathan has. So it's a smaller animal, it has more teeth. It probably was a, uh, a predator of smaller animals, fishes, sharks, and perhaps uh, small marine mammals as well. Our skeleton of Allophysiter, which is the one right here, is the only skeleton of that species which is on exhibit anywhere in the world. This animal differs from modern sperm whales by being quite a bit smaller. Uh, even the babies of modern sperm whales are bigger than this animal is. Uh, it has a lot more teeth. It has teeth in both the upper and lower jaws, whereas the modern sperm whale just has teeth in the lower jaws. And probably this animal was a fish eater or at least a generalist feeder. Modern sperm whales differ by eating only squid, basically. And they eat large squid, not small squid. Uh, this is not the ancestor of modern sperm whales at all. It's a whole different kind of sperm whale. Our specimen of, um, of Allophysiter differs quite a bit from Brigma physeter from Japan. Uh, it's a lot smaller. It has uh, about three times as many teeth. And the Japanese animal has very large teeth. They're about the size of a banana, whereas these are about the size of a pencil. Uh, I think the animals ate very different kind of things. I think this was a fish eater. I think Brigma physeter was a, a predator of, of other kinds of, of marine vertebrates like mammals and large fishes and sharks. So different kind of teeth and different food items, definitely. The sperm whale skull, as this one, has a large basin in front of the brain. And this basin held what we call the case. It's an echolocating organ and it's made out of fat. And as this case enlarged and expanded backward, the skull got pressed backward and peaked upward so that it changes shape through time.